family and have been living alone for a while now. And let me tell you, it's been kind of nice. However, my siblings are coming into town in a couple of days and I do not want my little sisters stealing all my new skincare products and clothing. So today, I will be building a top secret room to hide all of my stuff from my sisters. But we have to make it secret enough so that they don't find it and then steal all of my things. I gotta make sure it is top, top secret. So first of all, we're going to need to buy a ton of equipment and things that'll help us to create this secret room. Cause here's the thing, this isn't exactly my house. So I can't break down any walls, cut any holes or damage the house. Which means this top secret room just got a lot more complicated. We're gonna need to buy a bunch of equipment that will help us hide this room even better and make it more top secret. Cause there is no way that I am letting my sisters get into my stuff. I think I have an idea of where we'll make our secret room, but now, now we have to find the right tools and equipment to properly hide this room. Because here's the thing, I'm actually not gonna be in town when they come in town. So I have to make this room even more top secret so that I can leave it and hope that they never find it. <sighs> I think that this is gonna be perfect. No one will ever, ever know. All right, so this is the room that we are working with. I think it's actually perfect. It's actually pretty big. Nobody usually comes up here. We do have a couple of these beds, which are gonna be a little difficult to uh, move. Oh my gosh, actually, you know what could make this even better? This is usually where we can put some other kids for sleepovers, for fun little things like that. That's why we put up this to keep them safe. So what if I were to just move the two of them? over here, so then it'll be as if nothing ever happened and changed, nobody will be suspicious about it. I mean, we will have a couple little changes, but I think it'll be fine. Here's kind of the vision that I've got going for this top secret room. I'm thinking we're gonna put some curtains right here, obviously so that nobody can see in here, because uh, if there were no curtains, we'd kind of be in trouble. And then I'm thinking of, of course, putting these mattresses over here. I think that that's gonna be perfect to kind of keep people from being suspicious about about this secret room. Maybe I'll even put like a mirror over there or maybe I could put like a mirror right here, put some like dressers or stuff right there for all the different skincare products. Is there an outlet up here? Wait a second. Oh, <gasps> there is. That is actually so perfect. I have this small skincare refrigerator. So I can put this up here, maybe on like a little tiny desk that we keep up here. I don't know. The vision is just flowing with so many different ideas. I think it's gonna be perfect, but we obviously have to go shop shopping for these items, so. Oh boy. This is the one downfall to this secret room. It's kind of really high up here and this, this ladder is kind of intense, but that just means it's gonna be even more hidden and less likely to be broken into, which is exactly what we need. First stop for the shopping spree is Target. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, hold up. I literally still have my zip patch on. Without further ado, let's just get on in there. It's been so long since I have been in Target. I actually don't have a shopping list and I actually have no idea really what I'm getting. So impulsive buys might end up happening, but those are pretty cute. Maybe some, oh wait. Okay, we do need a mirror actually. Oh my gosh, you guys, everything is actually so expensive. Like this would be super cute. I kind of really want kind of something more like this because the secret room is not exactly a whole freaking room. So it's definitely small and needs something kind of like, kind of like these, but <laughs> your girl doesn't have that money. We're gonna keep looking. Okay, I think we might need this actually because we all know how much I love the preppy colors. I mean, look at this. Okay, I think we're gonna start off with some pillows. I love the preppy colors. Like I said, we're gonna get a couple different pillows, different colors to maybe add to the vibe, make it a little more comfy. Oh my gosh. I think blankets also are obviously gonna make it much comfier, but let's get this one. Okay, I'm sorry. I also think that I have to get it. I keep coming across it. I don't know, tell me. Do you think that this matches? I think they match. We're gonna keep going. 
This is screaming preppy right here. I love this. Even just for my own bed. This is cute. Okay, no, we gotta focus. We gotta focus. We need like a sheet. I think a sheet will work and we'll kind of like pin it up there. I think that this pink is exactly what I need, but I don't know. Does this like match? Or is that maybe too much pink actually? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe orange? This isn't like the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, this is bad. I don't know what to get. First door done, and I already did a ton of damage on my card. But we still got a lot more to go, so here we go. All right, next up, we've got Walmart. But I've got to keep it under control. We're going in with just a few specific things in mind to get, and we're leaving. I need shelving. We need shelving for all the different products. But I don't really like that. I want like an open shelving. And then we also need a desk and a mirror. So more money that we're gonna spend. It's okay. I'm just thinking of the end goal. The end goal, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be so amazing. And I hope that my vision comes to be. Oh, okay, wait a second. Imagine this, that'd be pretty cute. $159. Oh, guys, being an adult has made me realize how expensive things really are. I'm not used to buying this stuff. Okay, I low key was like, this could be cute. It's $109, which isn't like terrible, terrible, but I do not have the money for that. Alrighties, I'm back. I didn't exactly find what I needed at Walmart. I figured I would put everything up there, get everything set up, start doing what I can with what we've got. Maybe I'll even find a couple things around the house. I'll steal a couple things. They won't notice, they've been gone for so long. And then whatever else we need, we'll go back to the store. So now for the hardest part. Um, Gosh. Okay. This is not easy. Oh gosh. Okay. Ah! Let's get started. Ugh. Come on. Whew. We did it. This won't be very noticeable at all, right? I think it kind of defers the whole fact that there's gonna be an amazing secret room over here. I think so. I'm back. <sighs> Probably shouldn't say that. I found more stuff. And the best part is it's free because I found it here in the house. <sighs> well, we've got a chair. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall. Oh boy. Okay, this is harder than I thought. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay, I'll be right back. See, more things. I'd like to thank my mother for sponsoring this video with all of her products that she has in her house. This was mine, actually. I got it as a Christmas present a long time ago, but never used it. So I'm glad I kept it, because now I've got somewhere to put it. And we've got a mirror. Oh, guys, this is a workout. Now that I've got all the products, well, I guess it's more like I've got most of the stuff. Now we can really start organizing and evaluating where everything's gonna go and the other things that we need. I think at one point I'm gonna need to invest in some like air conditioning up here or a fan. It's a good thing I have that outlet. We could put a fan up here. You know what? I think it's time for a haul. Okay, a quick little haul. We got some clear containers for maybe some makeup products, skincare products, two super cute candles that smell so good. Obviously I had to get it. Was it necessary? Not really. Command strips for the curtain to hide this whole secret room. A cute little vanity organizer. Oh no, I forgot cotton balls. We'll get that later. We've got a ton of pillows, more pillows, more pillows, and this super cute towel that I'm pretty sure is basically just a freaking amazing blanket. It is so, so soft. I've got my little refrigerator that's basically like a mirror. Say hi. Hi. And a big mirror that I found in my closet. We're gonna have to touch it up a little bit, but so far, that's what we've got. Guys, this is actually looking so good. Ah! This is perfect. Okay, so since we don't have like the desk here yet, we're gonna just put all the different items that are gonna go on the little desks. I'm gonna put these over here for now. This is gonna probably go like right here where we're gonna set it up. It's kind of like the entryway into it. We've kind of got this whole like entryway thing going with all of these mattresses right here. And then like it like 
There's like a little line. It seriously is turning into a secret room and I am actually obsessed over it. We got a ton of pillows. Honestly, if we set them up right here, it's like a little nook. Actually, no, because that's gonna go right here because this is where we're gonna like sit. Oh, this is cute and have like a little vanity right here. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love this. Okay, so then we'll just like put a bunch of pillows. I got tired again, but at least I can say that this is very comfortable. So you best believe you will be finding me up here always, literally forever now. The one store I never thought I would come in for my own self, Home Depot. Am I gonna get lost here? Most definitely. There's tiles and there's wood and then there's carpet. Oh, but wait, now we're looking at kitchen stuff. More carpets. Like, can you just imagine a very small girl in this big of a store? How am I supposed to find what I need? Oh, well, I guess those are probably super helpful. Faucets, kitchen, plumbing, hardware. I need shelving. Oh, shelving, found it. Oh my gosh, okay, wait a second. I could technically do that. And it's only 57, I mean, 57 bucks, but still, we're gonna remember that. I think that's actually the only thing that they've got here. Okay, there's shelving, like, he's like, I don't really know how to, like shelving units basically. I'm wondering if you have any more of those as well as mini desks. Kind of like the Ikea, sorry, I'm terrible at explaining. No, you're good. You know those Ikea, just very simple, basic shelving, shelving, yes, shelving. And then also it's not a desk, but it's like a vanity, a vanity basically. So I don't think we sell vanities here. All the shelving we carry is in the back wall, but vanities, we carry them all. Online, okay. Oh, guys, this is stressful. That is the only shelving that they technically have, and they don't have any vanities, which is the most important thing that we need. But first, bathroom break. 20 minutes later. I went to Home Depot, and it was all for nothing, because I wasn't able to find any of the things that I needed. I didn't find a vanity, and I didn't find any shelving. Also, I don't think I can really put holes in the wall, so. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Maybe I'll steal one from the kids' room. And we are seriously cutting it close. I don't have all the time, so Home Depot, here we go. Okay, but these are so cute. Ooh, I kind of love them. Focus, focused. We're here for Home Ec and Home Ec only. A vanity and shelves. Why was this not the first place that I literally came to? Wait a second. I think we may have found what we needed. They're cute, but they're not exactly what I want. I need to not be a perfectionist. Maybe that's my problem. This could like technically be the vent. I don't know. This is so much harder than I thought, but I don't know that there's anything else other than this. However, the look is not over yet. I'm going to every store possible to find this vanity and these shelves because I have to make this literally perfect. A few moments later. Oh, you can't even tell. I found one. When I was literally about to give up, go home, go sleep, go cry myself to sleep, I found one. I don't know if how I'm gonna get it up there. I don't know how any of this is gonna work, but it's gonna work. We're gonna figure it out, but you're gonna have to pray for me because I don't know how I'm getting this up those stairs. Oh shoot. Ah! Ah! Okay, now this is gonna be the hard part. Getting this sucker out of the car. Ah! It's the most awkward, like, angle. Oh, this is so stressful. to give up, we got this sucker out. Now I gotta not give up when I try to bring it up the freaking stairs. How I'm doing this, I have no idea. This thing weighs at least 50 pounds. Tell 
me this is not the cutest thing ever. Ah! I love it. I'm in love. Now for the part we have all been waiting for, the skincare. I've got a bunch of different skincare products from past videos that I think we have to fill this entire vanity set up with. I think we might actually need some lights here too. Okay, cute. Okay, we've also got these ones that I, of course, have to put all of my lip balms in. Okay, here we go. I've got all of the lip balms. We have got all the skincare products. We've got all the equipment. Now we just gotta rearrange everything. Obviously, we've gotta do a little room tour, and I think we're all set. Well, now it's time for a room tour. I've taken this down just so that you can actually see because it's actually super dark up here without that lighting. But when you first come in, you've got this little tiny walkway. We've got some pillows over here. This is the overall look of it. Look how cute this is. We've got a little book nook over here, our little couch that is so comfy. Here is the vanity because of course it wouldn't be a skincare secret room without a vanity. We've got my cute little refri- I didn't know that it actually did that. That opens. We've got some products in there already. So we've got that, which also counts as a little mirror. Say hey. Hey. Then we've got the big mirror, of course. I have these two super cute and they smell so good. Then of course, moving on, we have got the products. We've got a couple products. There's more coming. This is kind of what it looks like. Don't mind that, I don't know what actually happened, but all the different products. And then over here, we've got a little tiny nook that I could just chill at if I wanted to. I think I just created a top secret room to hide all of my skincare products from my siblings. And honestly, I could just come in here whenever I want to chill, to relax, do some skincare, and hide away from my family and they will never, ever know. But I think to keep it top secret, I gotta put up the curtain. Here we go. This is actually so fun. I understand why it gets addicting for some people. I'm gonna need to do this more often. Well, I'd say that that was honestly a success. No one's ever gonna find it, and I get my own huge secret skincare room that none of my sisters will ever know exists. And hopefully not my parents as well, because uh, they probably would not be the happiest. But you should honestly comment right now what secret room I should do next and where, because Maybe I'm gonna make this a new thing. But all else being said, come and hang out with me in this video right here. I know that you're going to love it. I wanna continue hanging out with you, so check this video out right here and I'll see you there.